Hey, what's happening, guys? Pardon me, I still don't have my voice back completely, but I am feeling better. Today, we are going to take a look at this iTech military grade tactical two in one flashlight. Now, in my experience, there are two types of military grade. There's military grade like Armalite, who make the M16s, well, at least they did back when I was in the military. And, you know, they, they tested the crap out of them things, jungles, deserts, heat, cold, everything. Then there's the other type of military grade, which simply means built by the lowest bidder for the lowest cost. I assume this is that. Because it's that time of year when all the cheap crap comes out for Christmas. And I was at my local grocery store and I saw this for 10 bucks, And I'm like, oh, yeah, we got to get one of them. I like flashlights, okay? Back when we first started the channel, I did a review on this thing, the Atomic Beam. You know, visible from outer space or some crap like that. What the Atomic Beam is really good at, though, is focusing. You can take that focus beam and it will project it really far. But I've had this light for, I don't know, going on five years now use it all the time 18650 it's a great light made out of aluminum you know, one one big cell in there works great then I also have more higher end ones this is a through night TC 15 which is another super great flashlight Works on an 18650. This is a night provision. This is a nice little one that slips underneath the barrel on my AR, and it works out great. Again, single uh, cell in there. They work off an 18650. And every one of these lights has a multitude of functions, like... You see, all, they, they just do all sorts of things. So let's open up this one, the iTech military grade, and see what we get. One second, please. All right, so here we have the iTech. And if I'm not mistaken, what they've done is they've taken an atomic beam and they've simply added that to it, a little cob. I mean, if you take a look at this, they are almost identical. Now, this says it works on three double A's it does but that will also work with an 18650 let me grab one <coughs> all right let's find out no it will not work with an 18650 well that right there is a big mark off for me well, it took me a while to find some AAA batteries. Can't believe this thing doesn't use 18650s. All right, so button. So there's our flashlight. There's nothing. Flashlight, nothing. Long press, dimmer, long press, flashy, flashy, long press, SOS, long press, there you go, wow, and you cover that, and as you can see here, that doesn't go out, so... 
that's not so great. Let's see if we can remove this bezel here and the lens. And there is our, our cell. Trying to look inside here. Give me a second. Hmm. Trying to figure out how to take this thing apart without, you know, gorilla handing it. You can't figure out any way to do it. Let's see. Let me get a soldering pick. See if it'll come out this way. And while I'm doing this, this is a Sunday, November 7th. We just had our November Zoom meeting. And I want to say hi to Rob and Ed, the tiny bird. Thanks for coming today, guys. It was good to meet you. Good to talk to you. Yeah. There's nothing I can do to get that out of there without ruining the whole thing. And honestly, I don't care about ruining it, but man, I thought this would be easier. But it needs not. All right. Can't even look at the switch, can we? <laughs> well, let's see, are there any instructions I'm mostly like a blathering idiot today okay so t6 LED flashlight with 3 watt cob work light machine aluminum alloy construction linear blah 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 magnet and handle yeah hell yeah although let's see we're gonna go on a field trip you and me one moment please all right, we're in the kitchen. There's the refrigerator. There's the light. Let's uh, see if we can. Oh wow, that's red. That's nice. There we go. So we stick that up on there like that. No. Watch this. I drop, let go of this. Yeah. You're not, you're not sticking that onto anything horizontally. Let's see if we can do it vertically. And another thing is when you do that, you're hitting the, you're hitting the button. The button sticks out too far. I mean, it kind of stays, but the slightest bump and it's done. All right, well, that button there is proud of the bottom where the magnet is. So this is just poor design. See, this is loosey-goosey on there. Not even for 10 bucks. Yeah, I, I, I can't recommend you guys buy this. And the reason for that is for 20 bucks, you can still get the atomic beam I've had it for, like I said, almost five years, and it's still going great. So, yeah, there we go. I'd say spend the extra $10. Don't waste your money on this. With the Atomic Beam, you get the ability to use 18650s. It's a much more solid device. It's going to last, you know, whatever. Somebody I don't like too much will be getting that for Christmas. Well, between church this morning, the patron Zoom, and this video, I don't have much voice left. So I'm just going to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.